Hi, I'm Kristaps from UGCS. In this video, I'll show you how to plan and fly a photogrammetry mission using UGCS. You can see I already have my drone connected here. To start with, click here on the plus button to add a new route. Now let's enter the name of the route. Let's click next. And now let's choose the profile of the drone that we will be using. In my case, I'm using the DJI Mavic 2 Zoom. Click Next. In this window, let's leave these parameters to their default values. Click OK. Now here, on the left side of the GCS window, let's select the photogrammetry tool. Now let's place the border points of our photogrammetry mission. To do so, you can hold the Shift button and click or use double clicks. Once you are done with placing these border points, simply press enter. Now you can move the camera and slightly adjust the position of these border points. And once that is done, let's now change the direction angle of the survey lines. Normally it should be parallel to the longest edge of the survey. Now let's take a look at the parameters of our photogrammetry mission. First, I'll be using flight speed of 5 meters per second. For the turn type, you can choose either stop and turn or adaptive bank turn for most DJI drones. In my case, I'll simply use stop and turn. So each photogrammetry mission is planned based on the camera profile that you are using. You can see in my case, I have the DJI Mavic 2 zoom camera selected. However, if your drone has some custom camera, or if your drone's camera profile is not shown here, here's what you need to do. Go here to Menu and Main Menu. Now select Profiles and choose the profile of your drone. Click on Edit and here you can add additional payloads. You can choose your camera in this screen. If your camera is not shown here, you can click on Cancel and click Save. Let's now go here to Payloads, and this is where you can see all camera profiles available in UGCS. If your camera profile is not here, you can click here on Create New, and you can enter the parameters for your camera profile, add the avatar, and add a name for your camera. And then you'd simply go back here to Profiles and add it to your drone. Let's now go back. Next important parameter is the ground resolution. You can see I currently I have it set to 3. This ground resolution parameter also relates the altitude at which the photogrammetry mission will be flown. The unit of this parameter is in centimeters. It means that one pixel in the image taken will be this amount of centimeters on the ground. In my case, you can see that one pixel in the image will correspond to 3 centimeters on the ground. To see the actual altitude of the mission, you can either mouse over one of the points or you can go here to Parameters and Show Elevation. Here you can see the total distance of the mission, the estimated duration, waypoint count, as well as the altitude. Currently you can see that the minimum altitude in this flight will be 80 meters, while the maximum will be 86 meters AGL. Next important parameters are the forward overlap and side overlap. Here we recommend you to set these values as high as you possibly can to make image stitching easier. As you can see here, I have them set to 80% and 80%. As an example, if I now decrease the side overlap to say 40%, you can see that now the side distance between the survey lines has increased. Let's set this back to 80%. You can see that by default, the photogrammetry mission has the set camera by distance action added. You can either use set camera by distance or set camera by time. In general, our recommendation is to use set camera by distance. However, in this example, I shall use set camera by time. So now I will click here to remove set camera by distance. And instead, I will add set camera by time, which is set to auto. Next, so that you don't forget to move your camera so that it's facing downwards, you can add the action for the camera to automatically be facing downwards. To do this, you can click here on set camera attitude. And here under Tilt, you can enter the value of 90 degrees. 
and let's click on this arrow and this will move this action upwards as the first action that is to be executed. Now, once the drone will reach the first point of the mission, its camera will move 90 degrees downwards and then the drone will start flying the mission according to automatically calculated parameters. And next, in the parameters of the photogrammetry tool, under altitude mode, you can choose between AGL above ground level or AMSL above median sea level altitude. For this mission, we will use above ground level altitude. And a couple of more things before we start. First, let's add the first waypoint of the mission. You can do so by clicking here on add first waypoint. Now hold the shift button and click somewhere on the map. This feature is intended so that the start of the survey mission will be as close as possible to the drone's location. And you can see that as I'm moving this waypoint around, it snaps to the closest corner of the photogrammetry mission. Let's place this waypoint at the location of our drone. Now, let's do the same thing at the end of the mission. You can use these arrows to move between mission segments. Let's go to the last segment, which is the photogram tree tool. And now let's click here on waypoint. And let's shift click here on the map and simply add this waypoint at the end of the mission so that the drone will be set to automatically return back after it completes its flight. If your drone is taking off and coming back to a wide open area, you can also choose to add an automatic landing action so that the drone will land after it ends the mission. To do so, you can click here on landing and then shift click somewhere on the map and move this point where you want the drone to land automatically. And now you can see that here are all the parameters of this photogrammetry mission. Total area covered will be 11 hectares. Size of camera footprint at this altitude will be 120 by 90 meters. The mission will have 35 waypoints in total with 13 passes. And in total, it will take 352 shots every three seconds. You can also go back here to parameters and show elevation to check all the parameters of this mission. And currently you can also see that the estimated flight duration of this mission will be 19 minutes. And now once all is done, it's time to start the mission. To do that, click here on upload to upload this mission to your drone. Next, you can simply click either ARM or auto mode or simply click on auto mode as it is for most DJI drones to launch the drone on the mission. And that's how you make and fly a simple photogrammetry mission using UGCS. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.